Hello everyone, I'm Andrew Chiapese for TimesOnline.com. You know, it's not often in this day and age that a high school is able to sponsor a new sports program. It's even less often that that program happens to be high school wrestling. But Quaker Valley has found something special. The Quakers have a high school wrestling program for the first time in school history. And a lot of that is thanks to a groundswell of community support. And now they have a first year program that has high expectations for this year and beyond. Quaker Valley isn't starting from scratch. The Quakers have had a co-op with Moon for the last four years and have a number of wrestlers with varsity experience. That has enabled Quaker Valley to begin its program with a solid base. I started wrestling in uh, second grade, so I had to just jump around from different schools. I was at Keystone Oaks for a little and wrestled for them and then Ambridge. And then um, when I was in sixth grade, uh, Coach Ritchie approached me and then we started the program for the youth. Quaker Valley has also received significant community support. The first home match against Keystone Oaks was packed with fans and donations poured in to help finance the start of the program. It's support that hasn't gone unnoticed by the team. It's a blessing. We have the community support. Um, we have the numbers at the youth level. They're growing on the middle school level. They're growing on the high school level. And so right now we have all the pieces of the puzzle to have a championship program. I believe in the next four to five years, there's no reason we can't be one of the top programs in the state of Pennsylvania. It's great because it's here now and we have our home team cheering us on and it's not some other school that we don't go to and we're not fighting for them, we're fighting for ourselves. It, it was just great to finally have a home team and not have to represent somebody else and we can represent ourselves. The Quakers have shown early promise. Quaker Valley finished 12th in the Chartier's Houston Invitational to open the season. With experienced underclassmen like John Rocco Cazales, Keegan Forsyth, Jeff Megan and others, the Quakers have set a high bar for the first season. Uh, as a team, we're trying, first we gotta win our first dual meet. That's gonna be big. Also, we're trying to place top 10 in the Whippeals. And as a first year program, that's gonna be huge. Um, personally, I'd like to have a winning season and contribute to the team any way I can. Regardless of results, the first season of Quaker Valley Wrestling is about the future. Coach Brian Cook has a winning background from his time at Shaler, Pitt Johnstown, and in Texas. And with such strong community support behind the program, he's hopeful that Quaker Valley becomes a fixture in the quest for state gold. I want us to be a, a state championship program. I believe that we can do that. Um, there's no doubt in time that we can do that. Top two in the section, Whippeal team championships, and uh, for developing leadership, um, I really want to challenge the guys to get involved in some uh, service-oriented community projects. So I just want the kids to learn that, you know, it's not always just about the wrestling. They need to use their platform to give back to the community.